I wanted to do a quick update on my dog character. The last video I posted was an early draft of this character. Now I've pretty much got him finished. I just want to quickly run over his functionality also. Now we've managed to add a shoulder bone which allows him to shrug his shoulders and drop them down. I've also added a neck bone which brings his neck down and stretches his neck. So you can see his shoulders work a bit better there. We've added rigs to his, his feet, so now when he lifts his leg back or when he pulls him forward, you can now see the underside of his feet. And this is what I meant by matching frame by frame, whereas you'd have to draw all of these frames out if he was doing traditional animation or use switch layers to quickly flip it. But none of my rigs use switch layers. I have zero switch layers within any of my rigs and they all still manage to work and convey all the necessary poses and positions that I need my characters to be able to go into. So we have our body turn bone here and he is able to, to go in both directions all the way to the back. We have this bone here which brings our dog to our back position. Uh, we've got a bone here which he brings him to a side position and again all of these bones still still work as you would expect them to for your rig so you're easily able to animate him in, in all the necessary poses that you need him to be in. And there's his head bone. So now we're able to can turn his head and it still works and is in alignment with his with his body in that position. Um, we can use his air bones to bring them back or we can make them go forward and cover his cover his face and we can pretty much do it in any position that you want your ears to be in. We have, as before, our head turn bone works in conjunction with our jaw. So this is how we move our character's mouth in our positions other than when it's forward facing. And we just have blinks, pretty much like our other rig. We have a bone here for his eyes. And we have one here that controls his, his mouth. And we can get different poses and looks. We can also use our body bone to bring our character into a forward facing position. And again, that seems to be working. And our final position, we could take our arm and bring it forward. We could bring this leg forward and that leg forward. And we can just raise our head. Go to the pause, and now we have a position which is top down or looking upwards. So, this rig is pretty much able to work and function in all of the major positions that we need our characters to be in. So, again, as I said, guys, these rigs are just concepts and they're there to help you or maybe inspire you to add different functions to your rigs and try and test out the limitations of what the software is able to do. Hope you enjoyed it.